Chris King with Pampers Sisters, and it has been a long time. Y'all know I want to, first of all, I just want to thank y'all for being patient with me through during uh, this pandemic. I'm sure we've all had our challenges. I started off strong with Tuesday Talk, but things happen. So I had to back, take a few steps back, and I wanted to come up with something that is worthwhile and I'm consistent with. And I looked, and I was pretty consistent with YouTube videos. So I think I'm going to do YouTube videos, and every once in a while, I'll do a couple of Facebooks. Because you see, Pamper Sisters has been in business for over mm, 10, 12 years, since 2008. And we have gone through many challenges. And you'll see them on the website, you'll see them in the soaps, and right now even, um, this of course is a business me and my mom started, but now because of my mom's lupus, my daughter works with me. And she is the one that's responsible, responsible for the new Cowgirl Christmas series that we're going to be starting. And we're going to be using the same soaps, oils that we use in our soaps. Olive oil, cocoa butter, shea, castor oil, all of those things. And so I just, I'm really excited because I've never done a series before. And this is my first. I mean, I got motivated from watching Royalty Soaps and Royal Appleberry and Gypsy Fair and Mo River Soaps. All of them. And I just... I really got excited. I always wanted to do it, but my daughter's the one that said, hey, let's do one and for Christmas. And I was like, okay. And she was like, but let's do ours a little different. And so we, because we're Pamper Sisters and we're about women and about pampering ourselves and taking a little time, we thought we would look up some pioneer cowgirls in the Old West and some in the Southwest, Southeast, but the pioneer days. So this is dedicated to them. It will be seven soaps and they're named after um, women in history that have played a significant role in, in the pioneer, the Western, the cowgirl days, all of the above. And we'll have a little story with it. And each soap will have an accompanying candle if you would like that. And then of course, you're welcome to go to our site and look at other things. Um, you can always, Check me out at www.pampersisters.com. If you're really interested in this series, feel free to subscribe and put the notification button down below so that you will know when the series is coming each time, when an installment. So without much further notice, because I know I've talked your head off, let's make the first soap. Okay, so now we're going to make some soap. And again, the first cowgirl I'm doing is Carlotta J. Tompkin, a.k.a. Lottie Dino. Okay, and as I'm making the soap, I'll tell you a little bit about her. But um, I'm going to be using a fragrance from Muddy Soap Company called Snow Witch. Okay, Snow Witch has a great scent. It is matched with a notes of fusion sweet fusion fruit berries pine it has an undertone of balsam and patchouli y'all this scent smells so good and when i tell you the story about lottie you will understand why i picked this scent okay and i'm going to color it it's going to be an in the past squirrel swirl and i'm going to use polar lights um from muddy soap company and um from I don't know if they're still in business, but Chica and Sassy's Bath and Body Platinum, Platinum Mica. Okay, so I'm going to be using those in a little bit of titanium dioxide. So let me get started. Okay, so hopefully with all the editing, I will be able to sound, drown out the sounds of the mixing, um, the mixer. But anyway, let me get started. Oh, I guess I need to plug it in. I keep forgetting that. Let me plug it in. That's the fragrance oil. Let me plug it in. Oh my God. If y'all saw how I had all of this contraption put together. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I mixed this with, um, I use my base has a little bit of, um, well, has a lot of olive oil and coconut oil, little cocoa butter, castor oil, and I put a little bit of white kale and clay in there also, just for slip. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna add the lye now. Now, when I made the test, when I made the test, this fragrance worked really well, but I did have to move fast. So now I'm going to add the, the fragrance to it. Oh my God, this smells so good, y'all. This smells so good. Okay, I think I got it to where I want it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour off a little for the in the pot swirl. Let me set this down so that I can do it and I don't have a big catastrophe on it. Okay. And I'm going to pour a little off for the topping that I want. I just want a little bit of white for the top. Okay. Let me get my little rag. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this polar light to the end of the pot. And you know what? I think, yeah, I did it right. Okay, so I'm going to add this polar light. Okay, we're going to add that to that. And we're going to add this platinum mica to this. Okay. And then I'm going to mix this. going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide to this okay only because I want it a little okay. okay now what I'm gonna do to this I'm gonna move this out the way yeah I have an X there y'all so I can see where I'm going with this okay good okay I'll just do this oops that's supposed to be yeah that looks good okay so now I'm going to do a little titanium over here to this get these out of here okay okay so now this is mixed up and I'm just going to set it aside 
Okay, so now I got this. Let me do this in the pot swirl. I always want to save something to put on top, but my daughter designed this so I didn't. She said pour it all in. So I'm pouring it all in, y'all. Okay, so soap to make sure. That it gets mixed correctly. Let me see if I can do it right. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna pour it. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this while I'm pouring. Miss Lottie, okay? Miss Lottie De Niro was, oh my God, y'all. She was truly a cowgirl after my own heart. Okay, so Miss Collada was a card shark in the Wild West, okay? She traveled from Kentucky, I think it was. Let me see. Yeah, Kentucky to, uh, she traveled from Kentucky to Texas playing cards because that's what she was famous for, playing cards. And she eventually opened her own saloon, okay? And she had, she was a gambler. No, you know, just like the gambler, Kenny G, you know? And she eventually opened her own saloon in Texas and she continued to play cards. The reason why I picked this color is because um, in saloons, the women that dressed real flashy and those flashy colors, well, they were the women for the saloon. You know, the ladies, the mistresses, mistresses and, um, and everything. And Miss Lottie ran a saloon and she was probably sort of a madam too. And madams didn't stand out, okay? They wore like the whites and gray, um, you know, rhinestones or, or pearls or whatever and they were just very um, basic. Anyway, Miss Lottie had children, and she had a husband, and she was a skilled poker player. But wouldn't you know, Miss Lottie, in all her years at the saloon, and all the money she made, and never got shot um, at a get car game, she lost all her money to the love of her life, her husband. He took her for everything eventually and left town and left her with the children and, and that's where she ended her days but it said that the series Gunsmoke and I know I'm dating myself I used to watch it all the time with Matt Dillon and and um, his crew um, had a Miss Kitty and this is where they got the idea for Miss Kitty was from Miss Lottie um, and her being a saloon. And um, that's kinda where I got this idea to do this. So Miss Lottie is my first in my cowgirl series of women of the, of the Pioneer West. Even though they were women in the West and even in the North, they were cowgirls because they managed to always come out on top and weather the storm. They could hold their own in a man's world because back then, the South, the uh, cowboy days, the cattle ranches, the South, all of that was no no easy life. Being a pioneer woman was not an easy life and sometimes it was a lonely life because husbands had to, um, you know, go and do these long trail rides and, and everything for, and, and the, the wife was left to take care of the land, fight off the Indians and, and, any, and rustlers and crooks and all of that. And so, you know, if you could hold your own, then, you know, um, you were, you know, you were good, you were good um, because women, there was not very many things women could do back then that 
men gave them credit for. So if they could fall into something that they could do, then that was just better for them. You know what I mean? So anyway, Miss Lottie, AKA Miss Lottie Dino, and the reason why Dino, Dino is short for De Niro. They had given her that name because she made money. She, when, when you sat at the table with Ms. Lottie, you was gonna lose some money, okay? And unfortunately, as smart as she was a car shark, her heart is what was her downfall. Cause her husband, um, and I don't know how long they was married, but he took her for everything. So, um, she had kids and eventually she settled down. And so the reason why I chose this sin and I thought it was really fitting is because it matched her. You know, I could just see her, you know, walking through the saloon and and greeting her her um her customers and and asking for drinks and when the big spenders came to town, she would probably, you know, play them up in some cards and everything. And so, you know, she had this very nice, light, airy scent about her, you know, sweet cherries and berries. And, and but at the same time, she had that patchouli, you know, that, that, that hint of masculinity where it needed to be so that she still carried herself like a lady, but she could play sharks like with the best of the gentlemen out there. And so this scent and this soap and this design is inspired by Lottie, Miss Lottie. So the name of this soap in the first of the soap making cowgirl Christmas series is Lottie. And I hope that if you like this, you can't wait to see the other six. Subscribe to my channel, just hit the button down at the bottom or like me on Facebook, send out a notification so you'll know when I'm doing the next one. These are going to be the Christmas scent. I will sell them as a set and individually, and they'll have also matching candles. There are other products at www.pampersisters.com, um, and I, this was a fun. This is a fun series that I'm doing, and I hope that y'all enjoy it. And on another note, my hat goes off to all of the soapers out there that put together these series and plan them out. Um, I do Pamper Sisters um, part time. I'm keeping my day job till this, you know, blossomed into something else. But let me tell you, this is the first time, like I mentioned earlier, that I've done a series and it was truly a labor of love, planning. Me and my daughter had fun doing the research on it. And I think I'll do more, and they'll always be about women. I'll showcase women. Right now, it's going to be Cowgirl Christmas. So until the next series, um, see you at the cut. Okay, so now we're getting ready to cut um, Miss Lottie. And, oh, y'all, this still, this smells so good. I can't tell you how good this smells. So, like I said before, Miss Lottie is after um, Lottie um, D Dino and the scent is matches her personality. And this is how it looks. Oh, that can oh, this is, look, I don't know if y'all could see the glitter in it, the iridescent look of it, but this is the pattern of what a saloon, um, the owner of the saloon, saloon would wear, you know, cause the other women, the women that work the saloon, the, 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 the ladies of the night, I guess we'll call them, wore colorful, colors but the ones that were the owners the madams wore colors like this oh i really like the way this turned out y'all look at this this is this is awesome and it smells so good mm. these bars will be on sale um as i said earlier that i had to make these earlier in July and August, and I'll probably, knowing me, won't get these out until October after I get through editing, editing everything. This is really an undertaking. Um, I really like the way this came out. My daughter designed all of the looks. We picked everything to try to match um, what we were doing. 
I will put in the link below where I got the fragrance. Um, my bars are big. Um, I like big soap bars. My bars are about eight after curing and everything. They start off at eight point, I guess, five or something. Anyway, they're between eight and 8.25 ounces. And they are, after I trim them and everything, they are about a, um, inch and a half that's how my my cutter is set so i have big bars a lot of people um always tell me that they cut my bars in half because they're so big so the downside is i have big bars the upside is of course um my bars um, let me just get this a little bit more Okay, my bars, the upside is that my bars are, um, last longer because they're big and they curl them. And I hope that you enjoyed the first one of the Cowgirl Christmas series and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.